ever after backing up Neelars. The NFL got the worst news, well it seems the protesters got the worst news according to the conservative Tribune. The NFL seems to be giving a pass to the losers who have been protesting the national anthem. The trend may have reached its crest, but they have a problem, it's driving fans away faster than the trend is fading. It's killing the ratings and the revenue. Numerous fans are showing their frustration and not even tuning into games, even for their favorite teams. Advertisement Last week and the first week of the NFL season showed just how empty seats were in the NFL and ratings hit double-digit drops compared to last season's ratings. On Twitter, sports writer Ian Rapoport noted that the empty seats did not go unnoticed. NFL spokesman Joe Lockhart on the attendance in LA and SF, anytime we empty seats that's something we want to address. Focused on sellouts, he tweeted. Sellouts may be happening less and less as the league becomes mired in politics, and fans get fed up with it. The stadiums looked empty, especially in Los Angeles and San Francisco. The stadiums being so low is a major problem for the NFL. Empty seats in stadiums indicate a serious problem for the NFL. When stadium bleachers have gaping holes where fans should be sitting, it looks especially bad. It indicates that fans do not care enough to pay for a ticket and watch their favorite teams play. Empty seats hurt the pockets of the owners, which hurts the pockets of the players. They are protesting, but they're going to lose their money and their jobs. It's nonsense that they keep bothering to protest. They're protesting non-existent oppression. They seem to have lost their minds. What do you think of this story? The movement to boycott the NFL just got a very powerful new supporter. The Hill has an important story today about the movement to boycott the NFL. Across the league, protests of players kneeling during the Star Spangled Banner have angered patriotic Americans. One Twitter user leading the charge to boycott these and the American losers got a surprise boost from the most powerful man in the world. President Trump retweeted her message about working together to boycott the NFL, signaling his strong support. Advertisement You can boycott our anthem we can boycott you. The tweet reads. Clearly President Trump loved it and wanted to encourage the power of we the people to crack down on unpatriotic displays of disloyalty to our flag and anthem. Later on Trump tweeted out his emphasis that it is not okay to kneel during flag-waving and anthem-singing ceremonies. Courageous patriots have fought and died for our great American flag, we must honor and respect it. Make America great again. POTUS wrote. Trump also retweeted another message from the boycott the NFL advocate Donna Warren expressing support for veterans and asking a question that will bring tears to your eyes. Advertisement I wonder what this brave American would give to stand on his own two legs just once more for our hash anthem. Warren's tweet reads as it shows a veteran with amputated legs sitting in a chair. President Trump retweeted this as well. The mainstream media has been going after Trump ever since he said any son of a bitch who protests the anthem should be escorted off the field and fired on the spot. But you have to ask yourself this, exactly what type of a son of a bee doesn't stand up when brave American heroes like the man above can't stand up because of the injuries they sustained in the defense of our great nation? It's clear what type, a really pathetic, cowardly son of a bee. President Trump is 100% right. As President Trump responded to widespread protests today across the league with kneeling players he explained how this all works. Yes it is okay to show that you stand together as one for America, no it is not okay to disrespect our anthem and flag by kneeling. Bad ratings is right. What do you think about Trump's support to boycott the NFL? With him on board do you think the league is done? Breaking Trump just delivered a knockout punch to anthem protesters with a special announcement. Red State Watcher has an important breaking news story about a new proclamation signed today by President Donald J. Trump. Trump's special announcement comes as anthem protests rock the NFL and political division reaches an all-time high.
pushed on by the liberal media and deranged celebrities. Trump has declared by proclamation that today, September 24, 2017 will be a date to honor Gold Star families across the United States. Gold Star families are those who have lost a loved one in America's armed forces in defense of freedom. Advertisement The proclamation reads, As we solemnly observe Gold Star Mothers and Families Day, we honor and extend our deepest gratitude to the families of military service members who gave their last full measure of devotion to our country. Gold Star families have paid the ultimate price for our nation's freedom with the life of their loved ones. Our grateful nation grieves with them in their loss, but also shares their pride in the selfless service of their sons and daughters. Our country is built on the sacrifices of men and women who have willingly raised their hand to defend our nation and its security. As members of our armed forces take an oath to protect our freedoms and liberty, they understand the gravity of their commitment to defend our way of life. And when that commitment results in the ultimate sacrifice, we come together as a nation to walk beside the devoted families left behind and help them shoulder the vast absence they forever bear. Their loved ones did not die in vain. They gave of themselves to protect and defend the freedoms we all enjoy. Despite their grief, these families bravely move forward with dignity and grace. Despite having endured unfathomable loss, many Gold Star families have turned their sorrow into action and community outreach to help others navigate this difficult journey. Their compassion, courage, determination, and strength inspire us all. Advertisement When the last rifle volley is fired, the final note of taps echoes and fades away, and the carefully folded national colors are presented, it is our sacred duty to stand with these patriotic families to ensure they receive the care, compassion, and respect they have earned. On this day of remembrance, we pay tribute to those brave men and women in uniform who died protecting our great nation, and we stand with the families who nurtured and loved them. Gold Star families have our sympathy, but more importantly, they have our respect and our gratitude. The Congress, by Senate Joint Resolution 115 of June 23, 1936, 49 Stat. 1895 as amended, has designated the last Sunday in September as Gold Star Mother's Day. Now, therefore, I, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim September 24, 2017, as Gold Star Mothers and Families Day. I call upon all government officials to display the flag of the United States over government buildings on this special day. I also encourage the American people to display the flag and hold appropriate ceremonies as a public expression of our nation's gratitude and respect for our Gold Star mothers and families. Isn't this a perfect way to stop the silly controversy in the NFL? Maybe this will help us focus on what really matters, honoring our veterans and their families. Just in Cowboys owner Jerry Jones has another message for anthem protesters. Americans are getting sick and tired of the anthem protests around the NFL. Spoiled players who get paid millions are disrespecting the anthem and the flag just to make some kind of political stunt. It started with Colin Kaepernick and it's just gotten worse and worse. Today players all over the league took a knee as part of the protest. It is getting seriously ridiculous. As President Trump said, wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. You know, some owner is going to do that. He's gonna say, that guy disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it. They don't know it. They're friends of mine, many of them. They don't know it. They'll be the most popular person, for a week. They'll be the most popular person in the country. Advertisement Now World Politicus has a story about an NFL owner who's finally taking a stand against these bozo players by putting his foot down. 
Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones told his players to stick to football and has made it clear that anthem protests won't be tolerated. I do not think the place to express yourself in society is, the NFL, as we recognize the American flag and all the people that have made this great country, Jones said. The opening ceremony of the game is a time to honor the flag, he added. The disrespect players are showing is way too much. Do you agree with Jones' decision that anthem protests won't be tolerated or is he trying to shut down freedom of expression? Denver Broncos star just asked anthem protesting punks the one question we all want to know. This Sunday has been a real disaster when it comes to the NFL. Players all over the league protested the anthem by kneeling down, some idiot NFL players even did it overseas. Now one NFL star has had more than enough and he's speaking out. According to the wild card, Derek Wolf of the Denver Broncos went off on protesters and asked them a big question that all of us want to know the answer to. Wolf who plays as a defensive end on the Broncos made it clear that he stands behind the American flag and American anthem. Advertisement It's America. The greatest country in the world and if you don't think we are the greatest country in the world and you reside here, then why do you stay? Wolf asked. That's actually a pretty good question. Maybe some of these bozos would rather live in North Korea like the celebrity Chelsea Handler. Who do these players think they are disrespecting the anthem and all those who fought and died for the flag? Of course the truth is that American football isn't very popular in most foreign countries and these players would be worth less than zero working in Kim Jong-un's prison camps for nothing. Although Wolf acknowledged that his Bronco teammates have the right to free expression and protest, he was not impressed by their refusal to stand for the anthem and he did not join them in their protest. Star Bronco linebackers Von Miller and Brandon Marshall can be seen kneeling, but you can see number 95 Wolf clearly standing. And he's not planning to back down in the future, either. Not by a long shot. I stand because I respect the men who died in real battle so I have the freedom to battle on the field, Wolf explained. Paying tribute to the men and women who have given their lives for our freedom is why I stand. But everyone these days likes to find a reason to protest and that's their right. It's America and you are free to speak your mind. I just feel it's disrespectful to the ones who sacrificed their lives and it's maybe the wrong platform. As Wolf said, it's about showing your American pride. What do you think of Derek Wolf's comments? It's good to know there are still patriots in the NFL isn't it? Breaking top Democrat announces he's ready to cross aisle to help GOP pass Obamacare repeal. CBS is reporting breaking news about the Republican effort to repeal Obamacare. In a surprise move, Democrat Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia announced that he will be willing to work on the repair of Obamacare working with the author of the repeal bill Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana. Cassidy and I have spoken about it, Manchin explained. And I told him. I said, if you can take repeal off the table, sit down, and talk about repair, and fixing what we have, and how to make it better, I'm in with you. Advertisement Machin emphasized that he is willing to fix the basic concept of Obamacare together with Cassidy. If he could be persuaded to vote yes on Cassidy's bill with the stipulation that changes be made, Machin could tip the scale toward nixing Obamacare. Currently, GOP senators are working to pass the American Health Care Act, drafted by Cassidy and Senator Lindsey Graham. The bill was put together without Democratic input, but Manchin says involving the Democrats in fine-tuning it could lead to him voting yes. There's an awful lot that can be done to improve it. And we've identified let's sit down. But we can't even get in the room, Manchin explained. I think we could fix it. There are some good people on both sides of the aisle that know it needs to be fixed. Recent news that Senator John McCain plans to vote no on the Grand Cassidy bill makes snabbing the support of Democrats like Manchin potentially all the more vital. Advertisement 
Currently Republican Senators Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Mike Lee, Ron Johnson and Dean Heller have also said they will vote no along with McCain. We cannot support the current bill, Paul explained of he and his colleagues' opposition, adding I just didn't run on Obamacare light. I didn't run on replacing it with more government programs. As for President Trump, Despite formerly claiming the bill was mean he tweeted Thursday that he is now very supportive of the bill and wants to make sure it is really special. Nonetheless, even President Trump can't make this thing pass if no Democrats support the bill and five Republicans say no. Manchin could change that, if he gets his way with making some changes to what he currently calls an uncompassionate bill. I'm sure there are synergies. But not just throwing them off. Why does it have to be so mean-spirited? Why can't there be some compassion? He asked, adding this is about our country. And it's about you have to have a policy to get your people healthier, get them in a productive workforce if you will. And we can do that by intervening. What do you think about Manchin's potential support to vote yes for the Graham-Cassidy Obamacare repeal bill if he gets to be in on the negotiating process? Breaking NASCAR owners say they will fire anyone who protests anthem. Players kneeling during the national anthem has caused a major controversy in the NFL as well as falling ratings, but now NASCAR is making a brave stand against these anthem protesting punks. As Red State Watcher reports, several NASCAR team owners have now said that if you're on their team and you protest the anthem by kneeling you're fired. President Trump recently encouraged NFL owners to do the same to their disrespectful players who kneel during the anthem. Now it's NASCAR who's picking up the slack and laying down the law. No protests or kneeling occurred during this weekend's Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series in New Hampshire because drivers know it's un-American and unacceptable. Legendary NASCAR champion Richard Petty also spoke out saying any member of his team who tries to protest the national anthem in any way is gone. Petty owns Richard Petty Motorsports and is still admired by millions of fans for his amazing victories as a driver. Anybody that don't stand up for the anthem ought to be out of the country. Period. What got them where they're at? The United States, Petty said. He's so right. Like the saying goes, if you don't love it leave it. Advertisement. What do you think about NASCAR taking a stand? Doesn't this prove the kind of impact President Trump can have on bringing us all together and ending division? Steelers player and veteran who stood during anthem breaks silence on Kaepernick. The NFL is full of controversy right now because of players protesting during the national anthem by kneeling. In response to the protests, Pittsburgh Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin decided the team would boycott anthem opening ceremonies altogether and stay in the locker room. Now IJR is reporting on one Steeler who broke the mold, U.S. Army veteran and Steelers offensive tackle Alejandro Villanueva, who went out on the field and held his hand on his heart as he proudly stood for the national anthem. Vilan Weva served in Afghanistan and was awarded the Bronze Star for rescuing his fellow soldiers under enemy fire. Vilan Weva is a true American hero and he had no time for the cowardice of his teammates. Advertisement Here's the empty Steelers sideline, as the team hides in the locker room like little babies. Vilan Weva has spoken about his feelings on Colin Kaepernick and the anthem protests making it clear that while he also opposes police injustice and racial problems, he will not disrespect the anthem he fought for and the flag he served under as some kind of political stunt. I agree that America is not perfect, I agree there are a lot of issues with minorities in this country, I agree we should do something about it, Vilan Weva said. But I don't know if the most effective way is to sit down when the national anthem of the country that is providing you freedom and providing you $60 million a year is the best way to do it when there are black minorities that are dying in Iraq and Afghanistan and protecting our freedom for less than $20,000 a year. I just know I'm very thankful to be an American.
I will stand very proudly and sing every single line of the national anthem every single time I hear it. I will stop whatever I'm doing because I recognize I have to be very thankful to be in this country. I tell my teammates all the time, especially when they talk about contracts, I'm one of the cheapest left tackles in the NFL, but, just by being an American I've won three lotteries. And if you have a little money on top of me, that means I have three and a half lotteries. I've been very fortunate to travel a lot and see what it's like in different countries. I've experienced true racism that happens in Europe with a lot of minorities. It's very difficult for me to be here in America, as grateful as I am, in the best country in the world, and have people not be pleased about it. I think he's obviously upset and I think we all agree, the majority of America would agree, there's an issue with minorities in our country, the way some groups in our population are being treated. I just think not standing up for America is a little bit unfair on his part because he's not taking into consideration the minorities that are fighting for the flag, like myself, the thousands of people who lay their lives so he can express himself. Vilan Nueva made his feelings extremely clear another time as well in an ESPN interview. Whenever you include an entire country in one of those protests, I think you might mislead some people who truly wake up every single morning trying to give everything, including their lives, to protect this country. It's a little bit unfair to group everybody under that category. What do you think about Vilan Nueva's comments? Is he going to be the one to finally wake Pernik and the other cowards up from their insanity? Dallas Cowboys owner has had enough, issues a warning to all protesting players. Any politics broke a story about Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. The most well-known NFL owner has been very devoted to his team and has even taken chances on people who have done wrong. There is one thing he won't tolerate. He has now officially banned all of his players from protesting the national anthem. This NFL owner got it right while the rest of them seemingly enjoy their team getting all of the media attention because they are disrespecting our flag and anthem. He is a firm believer that the Cowboys stand for patriotism and American tradition. Hell, their nickname is America's team, even though I won't ever root for them. Advertisement Let's not forget about Michael Bennett of the Seattle Seahawks doing the black power gesture after a sack this weekend. He sacked a white quarterback so this gross display of racism should be punished. Dallas Cowboys owner Jones has said that if any of his players protests, they're gone. Meanwhile, the players are whining about this disciplinary action. They do not think the owner should fire them for protesting the national anthem. Seattle Seahawks receiver Doug Baldwin said that NFL owners have told their players to do specific things or to not do specific things. Regarding the national anthem and the protests. Advertisement. Baldwin thought the threat that Jones made was egregious. Baldwin is yet another ungrateful whiner. He seems to be putting a cause based on feelings over his country. He doesn't care about being a productive member of society, he wants the attention just like Kaepernick did. The one quote that I was informed of was, you are going to stand on the line with your hand on your heart and you're going to sing the national anthem because this is my stage, Baldwin said. The statement hasn't been confirmed. Through the last NFL season and to this day, Jones has been a vocal critic of the national anthem protest calling it a disappointment. We strongly, strongly support the flag in every way we support, and it's almost ridiculous to be saying. The people that for generations and generations that have given it all up so that we can get out on television. There is no reason for people to be upset by this. It's Jones team and what he says goes. If you don't like it, play elsewhere. I'm sure the drowning jets will take you. Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett is following his team's owner's lead. There's no question in my mind. The national anthem is sacred. Our flag is sacred. And our team has demonstrated that he told reporters gathered at Cowboys training camp in Oxnard, California. What do you think of this move by Jones?
breaking Steeler who disobeyed coach and stood for national anthem identified. Mike Tomlin showed his blatant disrespect for this nation on Sunday morning. He announced that his team would stay in the locker room during the national anthem at the start of a game against the Chicago Bears. There was one Steeler that didn't listen, according to Espination. Tomlin attempted to say that he didn't want his team to be a part of the political discussion. He made them the focal point of the political discussion by blatantly disregarding our flag, anthem, and soldiers. The Steeler who decided to leave the locker room to take the field and honor our flag was offensive tackle, Alejandro Villanueva. Villanueva's career in the NFL didn't begin until 2014. Prior to that, he served three tours of duty in Afghanistan, where he served as a captain in the Army, as well as being an Army Ranger. Follow Caleb Hull at Kelb Gel. The entire Pittsburgh Steelers team stayed in the locker room for national anthem except for Vilan Hueva who served three tours in Afghanistan. 8.05 p.m., September 24, 2017 4,810 4,810 replies 58,178 58,178 retweets 148,628 148,628 likes Twitter adds info and privacy Vilan Weva was very open about his problem with Kaepernick's protest of the national anthem in August of 2016. He gave his opinion on the matter. I don't know if the most effective way is to sit down during the national anthem with a country that's providing you freedom, providing you $16 million a year, when there are black minorities that are dying in Iraq and Afghanistan for less than $20,000 a year. Advertisement Then of course last year he made a stupid statement about inequalities that don't exist in this nation. So it makes it hard to take him seriously. I will be the first one to hold hands with Colin Kaepernick and do something about the way minorities are being treated in the United States, the injustice that is happening with police brutality, the justice system, inequalities in pay, Vilan Weva said. You can't do it by looking away from the people that are trying to protect our freedom and our country. What do you think of Vilan Weva standing for our anthem? Do you think he actually agrees with Kaepernick or do you think he was being politically correct?